Hi there, it's me Sandy and I have a quick thought to show you on uh, a fragrance that I recently got a sample of. I went on the brand's website. The brand is Lake and Sky and they're most famous for their fragrance called 1111. And I've never tried the spray version of that, but I have gone through an entire bottle of the oil, the roll-on. Um, I absolutely love the oil version of 1111. It's the most beautiful, clean white musk, and I extra love it when I pair it with um, Molecule 01. It's so good together. So I had seen some comments about the fact that they had come out with the new version of 1111, and it's called Azure, and as in like blue, I think, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's like an oceanic or aquatic version of 1111, which to me, 1111 is already kind of aquatic in an ozonic way. But this takes it to a, you know, a truly aquatic level. So I've been wearing this all morning and it's a nice fragrance. Um, I prefer the original 1111. And again, I've only tried the oil, but that one to me is just so, so good. Um, this one smells a lot like something that I'll show you here. Mac Turquatic. Um, they're not exactly the same, but it's got a lot of something in it that's really, really similar to Mac Turquatic. But Mac Turquatic just does it better. I love Mac Turquatic. It's one of my favorite fragrances for the heat um, and hot weather. It just does everything right. It's just citrusy and dewy and aquatic um i don't know it's so good it's so beautiful so mac turquatic is beautiful by itself and lake and sky 1111 oil version is beautiful by itself you put them together and you kind of have the azure version but it's just not as great as either of those are by themselves in my opinion. So um, I'll be curious to see if that one takes off. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give super quick thoughts on that because I haven't seen or read much about it yet. So uh, I hope if you're curious about that fragrance that you found this helpful.